All right, so where do we go? Uh, to enable the mission, it says talk to Bulma when you're ready. Where is Bulma? Uh. Was she not at Capsule Corporation? Maybe she's just outside. It, I could see that maybe she's just outside Capsule Corp. <clears throat> okay. That's annoying. <laughs> I went inside instead of slightly outside. <clears throat> okay. Can I prove unequivocally that, that Jasper is not a conduit of black magic for occultist practices? I guess not. I guess I can't. I don't know what he's doing when I'm when I'm streaming. He could be doing anything out there. He could be summoning, you know, Bloodborne-ish Cthulhu amygdala demons or something. I don't know what, the, what he's doing. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. Uh, it's not here. What the fuck? Where is the mission? Look, there's Capsule Corp, and she's not here. She's not inside Capsule Corp, and she's not outside Capsule Corp. Where the hell is she? Oh my god. So she was somewhere inside, even though I couldn't see her. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what a pain in the derriere, as they say. A pain in the dead air. Arr! So, where do I go then? Is she in another room? Like. Hey there! Oh my god, there's a side room that you've never seen before because they've never taken you in here except for in a cutscene. Here she is. Alright, let's get the fuck so, out of here. You all set for the trip? Let's do this. Let's go to Namek. Okay. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. Here we go. We're going go to Kame House. Meet up with Krillin and the others. We're going to Kame House and we're getting the hell off this planet. Damn, I got a lot of bonus experience. I hit level 18 now. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> At least Shadow Ninja says, holy shit, some progression. Yeah, after over two hours, like two and a half hours of intermission time wasting, we're finally progressing. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. Oh my god. I'm meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Yeah, she gave him the, the Mo haircut. He looks like Mo from the Three Stooges. Uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. Man, your mom sure is dumb. I mean, strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Master Roshi. <laughs> Write me every day, Gohan. All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek. Here we come. So what's funny is this is very similar to the plot of original Dragon Ball, Meanwhile, where it was Goku, Bulma, and Oolong left traveling. Now it's them. Okay, here we are. Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! That's right. Remember, even though Vegeta is evil, he hates Frieza as well, because Frieza is responsible for enslaving the Saiyans that were alive. I'm not going to let that happen. Those <clears throat> Dragon Balls are mine! <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. By the way, I wonder what the hell the Z in Dragon Ball Z even stands for. Now that I'm thinking about it, like, <laughs> what did it stand for, actually? Nothing. <laughs> it just, it just it, they threw it in there. Dragon Ball Z. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> the Z Fighters, yeah, but the Z Fighters weren't called the Z Fighters Meanwhile, until Dragon Ball Z. 34 days after <laughs> Bulma and the others left Earth. What does Z fighters they mean? What does the Z mean? At their destination, planet Namek. So they just arrived. Good. They cut out the filler bullshit. They got right there. Here they are. We did it. We actually made it to planet Namek. Hmm. This place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. <laughs> Are there giant dinosaurs trying to eat you here hey, too? Check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. Wow. You're right. All right. All right. We found, we found, one. Found, we one. found one. Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Uh oh, they just got here. <clears throat> Man, you're not kidding. It's massive and it feels crazy strong. And there's something kind of evil about it too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Yeah, uh, because they're gathering them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a Saiyan spaceship! I knew it! Hmm. <laughs> Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. He yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. Can they land without making giant craters on the fucking planet? <laughs> Who's gonna clean that shit up? I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, then head back to Earth. Wait, what? He just so said that. that. Sound good to you? Did he just say that twice? He said it twice. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. He said the same fucking line twice. That's hilarious. I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Damn, twice for emphasis. Uh, right, two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Uh. Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. So if I remember correctly, Bulma was supposed to leave, but she doesn't. Like she gets, to, she gets basically made so she we can't leave, it, and she ends up sticking around for like a long ass time on Excellent the planet. Work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> All right, that's definitely not the original Frieza voice actor. But I don't think that that one, that person's even alive anymore. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir. Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I'll make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor, Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. <laughs> Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. 
So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. So Vegeta was working for Frieza, but once he realizes these yeah, Dragon Balls can make him more powerful Vegeta. than Frieza, he tries to sure go against him. Alright. They kind of skipped that part here in the story where Vegeta decides, I want to go against Frieza because Frieza is enslaving the Saiyan race, so I'm just going to try to become more powerful than him right. by getting the Dragon Balls. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. Okay. Hold on a second here. It looks like my whole thing is locked up. Hold on. It looks like a tip came through, but it didn't it didn't show on my leaderboard here. Hold on a second. Yeah, shout out to Coxix, who just took me $15. Biggest tip of the day. Thank you very much, Coxix. It's been very slow on the stream, so I appreciate the, the contribution. That gets us over $50 on this stream, so thank you very much for that, man. Um Yeah, so basically this just skipped a bunch of, of filler content that would have elaborated on what's going on. Um Vegeta, basically, you kind of find out, even though he is a bad guy, he's not as bad as you thought. Like, the reason he was doing it, he was, like, the reason he went to Earth to destroy it is because he was, in, he was told to by Frieza, because Frieza is so powerful, he basically just controls everything. He bullies this entire force of troops who work for him and have to do what he says because he's so over, you know, overpowered, basically. So, Vegeta's like, damn, I want to be the most powerful, so I'm going to try to steal the Dragon Ball so then I can fight Frieza and beat him and then, you know, basically kind of free all the people who are slaves of his, including, you know, a ghost. all the Saiyans are dead now, but that was the point. Like, his Saiyans had been enslaved by him. <clears throat> um, so what's going to happen now is all of Frieza's troops are going to basically try to fight Vegeta and fight him so that they'll stop him from getting the Dragon Balls. And that's what he's saying. This guy, Kui, is, was one of Vegeta's rivals. So they're going to have, have this epic fight. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. Now, if I remember, in the actual show, she doesn't leave the planet. She tries, but, like, I guess, like, the power source or something is stolen, so she can't leave, and so she has to go around fighting, like, like wild creatures on the planet and shit. And it's a lot of filler content in the episodes is the Bulma stuff. I get the feeling they're going to skip all of that here and just focus in with Gohan and Krillin. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? <clears throat> Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? <laughs> Is it the Saiyan? Uh-oh. No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. It's a couple jobbers. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? Oh, those are Namekians! <laughs> they don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Frieza Force. Their power levels are a joke. They're nothing but trash. I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. Wow. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. I could do that voice acting too. No. Yeah, they damaged the ship, yo. It's our ship! So she can't leave now. <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. This is totally my natural talking voice. I'm not making a ridiculous voice, so I sound like two different characters. Okay, go on. <laughs> Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Oh my You're god. Off. Right. What a ridiculous voice. <laughs> Like the Saiyans we fought back on Earth. Ah! What the? What the? What? His solar flare didn't even work. I can't move. Dude, I can't move at all. Alright, enough of this. This guy is attacking non stop. The guy was attacking non-stop, it was super annoying. He was even doing any damage either. <laughs> hey, when can I be a voice actor for Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> hey! Nice going, Gohan! Nice going? There's nothing nice about this! 
Yeah, the ship's destroyed, so she can't leave now. So this is canon to the story. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels Zarbon. almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Protrusion said, why did Vegeta wear the Frieza Force outfit for so long if he hated Frieza? Well, he wears it through the whole Namek saga because it's body armor. It's actually effective. That's why they're all wearing it. It's actually body armor that helps them in combat. But after Frieza saga, he doesn't. Like, he doesn't wear it in um in the Android saga, Cell saga. Like, he, he stops wearing it after that, so. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1500, is that right? Zarban, why are you still holding those balls? I told you to put them down 25 minutes ago. Hardly anything worth But I like them. Concern, mm. wouldn't you say? They do <laughs> seem rather unruly. I like to hold my balls hefty, yes. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. <clears throat> Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. Dodoria, get rid of those balls. Okay. Um, um, um. <laughs> now! You hear that, Vegeta? <laughs> All right, so here we go. The rivalry fight. That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. Yeah, but number one, he doesn't know that Saiyans can hide their power level. And number two, he doesn't realize that Vegeta gained a ton of power by fighting Goku on Earth. Because the way that it works with Saiyans is when you fight, even if you get really hurt badly, basically you, you raise your power level through fighting and then healing back. So he's going to end up being way more powerful than they, than they thought he was. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome. Good day today. Thank you for the nice positive message. What? Ipsul Ipsul says Kui is the strongest character in Dragon Ball canonically. What? Yeah, he's better. He's stronger than Frieza. Or are you talking about original Dragon Ball? I didn't know he was in original Dragon Ball. All right, no point waiting for his attack. I'll just hunt him down and blow him to bits. Huh? What's that? Well now, that's Frieza's shit. <laughs> it really is my lucky day. Not only do I get to rip Kui limb from limb, but I get to scrap Frieza's ship too. Okay. Find Queen and put him in his place. Oh my god, there's orbs for Vegeta. Vegeta could get her orbs if he wants. If there's no rainbow orbs. If there's no rainbow orbs, I don't want to collect. Oh my god, there are rainbow orbs. Oh, he's level 23. I should level him up. It's the first time I get to play as Vegeta. I just pressed the wrong button. Uh, skill tree. No? Oh, here we go. What can I buy? Uses red orbs, I'm assuming. No, he uses blue? Oh. I thought he'd use red like Goku, but I guess not. Oh, here we go. What is this? This is Rapid Fire Keyway, level one. Oh, you gotta do a training ground exercise to get that. So we can find a training ground, I gotta do that. Let's look at look at the map. Kate Cheer, I wanna say happy birthday to be the colonel. Well, happy birthday to you, be the colonel, if indeed it is your birthday. Let's take a look at the map. What is that? Oh, these are the ships. You're supposed to destroy the ships optionally? Oh, I see. And the training's over there. Okay, so there's a lot of shit to do. Crushing that cloud is my top priority. Oh, they won't let me? Uh, they won't let me do it right now. They won't even let me go to the training, I bet. Yeah, see? Wait a minute, what, uh... Hold on a second. What what moves does he have? I just realized I should look at his attack palette. Oh yeah, look. Meteor Hammer isn't equipped. Consecutive Energy Blast, Gallic Gun, Body Smash, and Meteor Hammer. Okay. 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 
Alright, we'll just gather this stuff on the way to the story, I guess. I like to flip, and I get all the bows when I do. <laughs> Kakarot! You piece of shit! Oh? Where is he? Uh... Where the fuck is he hiding? What the hell? What am I missing? I says I'm standing right on top of the mission and he's not here. Oh. Oh! <laughs> he's floating. <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. That's right. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level. <laughs> uh oh. No way. 90, 20, 21, 22,000. <laughs> <laughs> it broke the scatter. Well, this must be some sort of error, but I sent my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Yeah. I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? Oops. Shit. <laughs> Hello, Night Goku. How's it going? Die! Battle time? Yes. Nice Galaga. The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death. Look good! I love the animation. I don't have enough. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Rapid fire. Oh my god, look at the damage. God damn. Dude, he hit rapid fire right in his face. <laughs> Very nice. You're not going anywhere. Yup, that's it. Done. Vaporizes him. Easy win. Dirty fireworks. <laughs> yeah, I say the game is very faithful to the TV show. Night Goku asked if I think this is better than the other games. I would say, if you're looking for the accurate plotline of the, the main show, yes, absolutely. Xenoverse takes the main show and changes it up, so... But Vegeta's power level from before! That 24,000 rating! It was real! Nah. Equilibrium says he's feeling down today. Let's all cheer up Equilibrium, guys. Let's cheer oh, I him don't up. believe it. He just took out Kui. I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget <clears throat> Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defy me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. It's the same voice actor. Lord Frieza, I keep changing my voice to act like I'm someone different, but I'm the same guy. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. <laughs> the fifth Dragon Ball. So people say they, they thought that I was on the set of that 70s show laughing. Didn't you know guys know I was a voice actor for Dragon Ball Z too? Let's pay them a visit. 
All right, we got now that Vegeta is part of the community board, and of course, he's part of the Z Fighters. Duh. I want to sit, put him on the board. I, I hate to say it, but that's it. We're uh, screwed. There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now. Bulma, let's let's at least get away from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. Do you go cheer up equilibrium by telling them that my head looks like a big toe? Fine, that's fine. I'm a big ass toe. Look at that. Big stinky friggin' <laughs> Some nice nail fungus, why not? I'm Sounds good. Sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. You cannot fly or fire a key blast while moving. It's great. What the hell did you tell me that for? What did they tell me that for? What? <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, wait. I didn't want that. I wanted the uh, community board. Okay. So, we definitely should put Vegeta parallel to Goku. He's probably going to have a big rival rebalance or something, I bet, right? Shit. I don't want to do that. I don't What? Vegeta has does not have a link. He has to be linked both to Goku, Piccolo, and Tien in order to get the link. That's ridiculous. So how could I do that? A four link. That's going to be tough. They've all got to be in a, in a, in a line somehow. <clears throat> Hmm. I sure would love to fight in the world tournament again. I'm nothing like I was back then. <laughs> I'm going to win. You know, I actually managed to beat Goku back then. What the? No! But now this bonus is gone. I could do this. You've toughened up. But now we lost the launch bonus for being with Tien, right? We also lost. Yeah, now we lost the three Z Fighter bonus too. Hold on, let me put her over here for now. No, what the fuck? I bet I could give you a run for your money. Oh, is that so? Hey, you now I. It's him and Tien. That bonus is now active. It's tough to figure out what's the highest bonus you can get, right? Hmm. In reality, you know what? Okay. Vegeta should be the furthest. Vegeta should be the furthest out. Damn, this is tough to figure out. I bet I can always hang out. I'm nothing, you know. That's the four. No. This is really hard to figure out how to get the best bonuses out of this. Hmm. Vegeta on the side, Tien below. On the side of what? So wait, like Vegeta here? I'm nothing, you know. The problem is now I can't get Gohan in there. You look like yeah. 
I'm trying to see the pick. Can I get Piccolo Gohan and Goku Gohan? And I don't think I can. Unless. Thanks. Look at that. I sure would love nothing like <laughs> you know. So now we got the Piccolo Gohan and Tien Gohan, but now, but now we don't have. Oh, this is so hard. We put her there. That gives the boast there. See that? Piccolo up up top, Tien below, Gohan next to Piccolo. I did that. Piccolo up top, Tien below, Gohan next to Piccolo. But now he doesn't do shit. Yeah, see, now Yamcha gives no bonus, and, and Krillin gives no bonus at all. I can't tell what the highest level is. Like, what's the highest level I can do here? By the way, he's not maxed. I guess he's maxed yet. I can still give him this. Nice. This is tough. Am I going to beat this game? Yeah, I don't care if people are going to sit here and complain about it constantly. I'm still going to play it because I like it. So, What are his stats? I mean, he's actually really good at the adult, so maybe I'll take him out of the Z Fighters. I'll go put him in the adult. I think I'm going to. I got up to level 5 adult. There you go. Because he wasn't doing anything here anyway. What about Krillin? Yeah, he's a level 10 Z fighter, so we definitely got to keep him here. It just sucks. He doesn't really get a boost with anybody, right? Look. He doesn't get, like, any boosts. He only does if he's linked with Yamcha and Goku. Then they get one. Outside of that, there's nothing. So, he kind of sucks, quite frankly. Unless... No, it has to be Yamcha and Goku. That's the only one he has. Yamcha and Goku. Yep. Later on, he'll be much better, because he'll have other people, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I guess that's it. We'll just leave it as is. Alright, so what the hell are we doing right now? Oh, so you can't fly? It doesn't seem safe over there. No, they're making you walk. Yeah, they're making you walk on foot. You can't jump or you can't fly or do nothing right now. A D metal. There's a training spot you can't even get to. That's right. If you remember, at this point in the game, they're trying. can handle this. They're trying to hide their power levels because if they reveal their power levels, they're afraid that all the big villains will come after them. This hole over here. It looks like it'll do the trick. Yeah. Here we go. This is where they're gonna hide the shit. King Michael says he's really enjoying the playthrough. Stay in a creepy place like that. Hmm. Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide. Huh? Some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Boma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone. Huh? It's them. It's them. Yeah, it's all Freeze's crew. Chairman Caleb said this game nails the attention to detail with the aspects of the storyline. I agree. I like it. Bulma, do me a favor and check the dragon radar, please. You said four of the dragon balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Have them. Yeah, that explains it. 
They have the four dragon balls. So you're <laughs> completely fucked. Yeah, <clears throat> that's what I thought. Go on. Did you feel it? Y yeah, their power was incredible. Whoa, that small guy. He he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Yeah, most of these. Well, actually, I think only he is. He's the only one who's stronger. I can't remember if Ginyu Force is technically stronger than Vegeta or not. Cool, man. <clears throat> Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? All right. On to a new look at the story. <laughs> Very nice. Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Yes, as usual, Goku is racing to the rescue and is always showing up at the last minute and has nothing to do with the major plot line. Really ridiculous. Dr. Briefs <laughs> modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and <sighs> gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. So you gotta wonder, if Bulma re refurbished the Namek ship from Kami and it took them two months to get to Namek, why the hell didn't her father, Dr. Breeze, just make a ship that could get them there in six days? They wasted two months. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some Senzu beans, Goku left for planet Namek. And why didn't he eat the fucking Senzu beans to begin with? All right, I'm off. Instead of sitting in the hospital like an idiot. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. <laughs> hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going yeah. to. Mm. Alright, so Hyperius says that he believes some of the, the Ginyu Force are weaker, but some are actually stronger than Vegeta at this point. So. <clears throat> no, I did not see the dub where Piccolo is called Big Green all the time. What the hell is that, Jack Spartacus? Uh, wait a second! <clears throat> are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's horrible <laughs> henchman. All right. Just for the sake of waking some people up in the stream chat, I'll make I'll break the detractor fourth wall. You ready? Hold on a second. Oh wait, I can't yet. <laughs> So, I can't yet. Darn! Really <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. All right, so while these two are off doing serious business, Bulma will be back in that capsule home, playing WWE mobile games and spending hundred forty thousand dollars to get Hulk Hogan, brother. <laughs> As their stupid detractor memes say. There you go. I referenced one. There you go. <laughs> if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. <laughs> I, just I just love it. I love the stupidity. You cannot fly or fire key blasts while moving. Here we go again. Right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. No one said 140k. Oh yes, that was said in the stream chat a few days ago. Someone said I spent 140 thousand dollars on a mobile game. I was like, uh, because at first I was t I, the people were like, oh, 10,000, oh, 20,000, 40,000, 140,000. And now people are like ridiculous. They're like, yeah, he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on a mobile game. It's like, people are just fucking um, so dumb. Really strong. I don't even know what else to say. Take on that stubby guy and his friends. I mean, come on. Yeah. What do we do? So I guess I'm supposed to grab all this shit for now. But I can't. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, I knew I could jump. I didn't know I could jump like that. Holy shit! Guys, get their hands on the Dragon Balls. <laughs> We're in big trouble. Oh my we God! Bring Mr. Piccolo and the others back. Wait, now I can't. Oh, 
You can only jump that high when you're running. Um, you look really you're ready for a real oh, shit. Great, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. This is like a bootleg Rincoon. Rincoon. He was like a bootleg Riccoon the way he looked. There you go! Papa Vera's here. What's going on, Papa Vera? He goes, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. Do I hear 500,000? Going once, 25, sold! That's how ridiculous the stupidity of these morons is. The shit they make up about me. Like, first of all, how do you even think I would have that much income to ever spend on a fucking mobile game to begin with? Like, I don't know. I give up. There's no reason to try to rationalize it. It's just complete nonsense. And... I just get so tired of it, you know? I'm just gonna, every time someone, someone says something stupid, I'm just gonna completely blow it out of proportion even worse. I don't know what else to do, what's the point? By the way, nope, I learned the, okay. The trillion was there, but I already did the training with him, so. Absolute insanity. Absolute fucking insanity. Anyway, let's continue. Let's not derail the stream, shall we? Looks like we're definitely supposed to be gathering all these balls on the way to the mission. So, all these orbs. We're almost there. <clears throat> okay, good. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. hey. what, what's going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians. Of course. First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We we don't have anything like that. Mori and Dende. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, is that device. That must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Yep, the tracking device. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. You know, the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. <laughs> Breath impressible. We're voice acting. Well, they <laughs> did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! What do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. Junior Mint, thanks for the cheer. You're a complete fucking idiot if you believe any of that bullshit. Seriously, you are an actual idiot if you believe any of that shit. With all the shit that's been said about me over the years, for you to actually fucking believe it, you're a moron. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. You are a gullible fucking idiot, and I've had enough of even entertaining the nonsense. That's why I made the joke about it, because it's so ludicrous, the whole thing's a fucking joke. I, I suppose we have no choice, but promise me one thing. <clears throat> promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Ugh. <sighs> no. Take this and be gone. Junior man, I was joking. You're an idiot. Now you get a 10 minute timeout. Bring it up again. You get perm banned because you're an idiot. Anyway. <clears throat> well, I have. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. 
If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Yeah. He's an evil motherfucker. <clears throat> Get out of here, dead man. <clears throat> no! Scouters! <laughs> now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! Because they're so dumb they brought no extra scouters. It's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. This is a bad idea. Uh, I am Razor. I agree the Final Fantasy VI ending is one of the best in uh, RPG history. I suck you missed it, but it's on YouTube. Yeah, I couldn't move. There we go. Nice critical hit. Oh, it beat him. Holy shit. Critical hit did tons of damage. <clears throat> Very nice. Now's our chance. Hurry. Huh? All right. After them, Dodoria. Don't let them get away. Punch it, go on. If he catches us, we're goners. Right. No use. They're faster than us. He's gaining. Wait, that's right. Here, go on. Take the kid. Okay. That's right. They saved Dende. Look directly at me. Uh, here it comes. Take this. Solar flare. Yep. My eyes! So, I can't see! He's so dumb, he looks right at him. He doesn't oh, know right. what Solar Flare it is. Worked. Now get out of there! Come on. Hide! Huh? Oh, wait! <laughs> you little twerps! Where the hell do you go? Hmm. <laughs> Yay! All right. For now. We need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? Cucumber. Uh, I'm Dende. Oh. I don't know what Dende, because I think all the Namekians are supposed to have names that are similar, like instruments, but I don't know what Dende is supposed to be like. They just made mm -hmm. it up. One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that Tadoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Okay. <clears throat> la 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 la. Alright. Can I now destroy the optional ships? Sneaky Vegeta. Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. Yeah. I have to plan my next moves carefully. Yeah. Easy prey. 
There we go. I'll make short work of the door. That was well now. You get items. An improved scouter, and I said a piece of fruit or something? Did that what it said? Fruit? I got fruit. There was someone behind me, but I just ran away from them. There's fishing on this fucking planet? Yeah, there's Nemeki and fishing. You see that? Are you ready to die? I hope so, because you're going to. Prepare yourself! Damn, it's hard to aim. It's actually pretty hard to aim. These guys are super weak because Vegeta's level 23. Oh, hi. I guess that's the Namekian moon right there. Oh, I got tofu. <laughs> you got delicious tofu. Oh, wow. How did you know that Vegeta loved tofu? That cloud is my top priority. Ah, oh, they still won't let me do an open world roaming yet to destroy everything. Okay. I'm not sure what the icon is. Yeah, I don't know. The icon name, I don't know what it is. Oh, another more jobbers. More jobbers. What's up, Yorkman? How's it going, man? Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate me! I did the wrong attack. Oops. I did completely the wrong attack. With the big bulbous heads. I don't know what race they're supposed to be. Big bulbous head. <laughs> Some items here. Well now. One of the D medals. What is this power? I'll just do a little bit of collection while I head over to the story. Probably got like one more fight left on this street before we run out of time. <laughs> okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Nah, nothing special. Just a bunch of orbs. All right. Let's do it. Easy. Dodoria. He fights Dodoria now. Vegeta! Hey there. It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza aside. <laughs> Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. Polish Frog asked, did I get hit by content ID with this game? I think there were two videos that were, and they were matched to someone else's content from Latin America, which is horse shit, but you nothing major. You hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You lost. You lost every single one of your scouters, the... haven't you? <laughs> How perfect. Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this. Don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that shit. What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another saying there as well. And he also knew how to use that technique. 
which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? He doesn't know that the Earthlings are here, that's right. What the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten. And now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? <laughs> that number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. Right. Time to fuck him up. <laughs> what are you so afraid of? Go on, try and attack me. Who do you think you are? You're not better than me. <laughs> Oh yeah! Look at that! Rapid fire! Oh! Giant damage! Oh, I tried to dodge, nothing happened. Well. There we go, dodge. Oh. Oh, I didn't know he was going to do it more than once. Dodge still get hit. What the hell, dude? Trying to charge up to finish the fight. Got it. They cancel out my Gallic gun. You fucking serious? That's bullshit. He still hit me. Don't underestimate me. Dude, I can't beat him. I have to get a waste of healing on him because they won't let me finish him. Look, I dodge and he still hits me anyway. This is so dumb. He gets an infinite super armor moves, basically. That's cheap shit. At least I beat him, but that was stupid. Wait, Vegeta. If you let me go, I'll let you in on a little secret. But it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. That's right. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys. And because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. Yep, and... And oh, did he. Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. Yep. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste. So he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you. 
thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach. <laughs> You're on freeze! <laughs> And it's another one that bites the dust. Freeze is terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. That's two down. Vegeta already killed two. Of if the what I heard on the scouts is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Okay. Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. All right, protein, uh, power protein, fancy earrings, and a super brain bread. We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes my name is Dende. Huh. That looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got great news from my dad. Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak. He should arrive in about mm, six days. And I hear he's toughening himself up. Oh boy. My, my dad's coming? Hooray! Shout out to Fox Unstoppable who did two cheers, one for 55 bits and one for 100 bits. Thank you, Fox Unstoppable, for those cheers. Yahoo! Yeah, Goku's coming. He's going to take six days, though. They got to hold out for six days. <clears throat> Six days remained until Goku would arrive on planet Nemec. <laughs> Rank of S. Okay. Alright, soon we can save up here. Call it a, a day for our stream. I'm happy we're on the Nemec saga. It's way more interesting than the freaking intermission. <clears throat> we can be fighting... Freezes elite troops and trying to survive and gather the Dragon Balls, or you could go catch fish. Hmm. I think I want to go back and get some of those great energetic fish. Meanwhile, Goku, <clears throat> can you hear me, Goku? Wait, huh? Where are you? <clears throat> are you in space? Oh, that's right. You're heading to Namek. Good luck finding the Dragon Balls. Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek. Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's for people you know quite well. That's right. Oh, wait, you don't mean... All his friends. You train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? Huh. I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too. Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? <laughs> Chaozu's here too. Chaozu's a complete waste of everyone's fucking time, That's though. That's awesome. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate a hundred times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? Goku explained to King Kai and the what? others what happened. What? Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, 
Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him! Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble! I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is, is, is he really that strong? I kinda wanna meet him now. <laughs> Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? Of course I get stuck in an extended cutscene here and I can't save the game. Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> it's been like 15, 20 minutes since I've been able to save. They won't let me now. <laughs> I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> For the Dragon Balls. Okay. Can I save? No. Quillen, <laughs> did you feel that? Yeah. A bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed. Yep. And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. It's Vegeta. Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too. If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, neither of them will be able to make their wish. But, but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls. N no, uh, who are you people? <laughs> Why are you ruining our fucking planet? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people! Yeah, about that. <laughs> well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that there are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah. I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy. It's all gone. There's no one left. Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Uh, oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta <clears throat> reaches it before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! We have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? Right! Be careful, you guys! Okay. Oh my god, I'm still in a cutscene. They still will not let me save the game. Wow. So this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Yeah, he killed them all. He's no good guy. He killed all the dynamics to get it. He hurled the Dragon Ball into the lake. No one could possibly <clears throat> find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five. That means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power. It's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his. Which is Vegeta's cue to try to attack him. Yep. He'll be joining Dodoria soon enough. In hell. Alright. So that's it for today's session of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're firmly into the Namekian saga, which is good. Far more interesting, in my opinion, than what we were doing back on Earth. So I hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far. Thanks a lot.